Okay, so here are the lights I went with. I went with these Hella 4x6 H4 housings. Now, Hella is a German brand versus the lights I originally switched over to were Chinese made lights. These come with the bulb, they come with obviously the, the headlamp assembly itself. And they actually also come with an adapter. So pretty much everything you need all in one package. I'm probably not gonna use the uh, standard H4 bulbs with the setup. I'm gonna continue using my LEDs, but obviously just in case I need these, I've got them. So here's what the headlamp looks like. So I decided to go with one of these because not just the brand, but the reviews I read said that they were much more robust compared to the other offerings that are currently available. The actual model number that I picked up was 3177862. That's the model number you need to look for. Uh, that's the individual piece. Either way, I think if you were to buy uh, the single, it costs less. These are much more expensive being uh, Hella compared to um, the usual or the generic brands that are out there um, that are available. So one of the reasons why I bought this was because it actually has, and if you look inside there, it actually has a shield inside there versus the kind that I went with uh, originally don't have that shield, so it's just a hole. And that was causing some issues with the light pattern not being uh, evenly distributed. It was just like a floodlight. It was just, you know, it was blinding oncoming traffic and it was just becoming a mess. So I decided to go with these for a couple reasons. Number one being that it does have the shield on the inside right there. So that will clean up the light pattern tremendously. And also it still maintains the stock DeLorean look. It does not mess up the stock DeLorean look at all in my opinion. Uh, in fact, I, I here's um, just doing some test fitting. So here's what the Hella headlight looks like compared to the kind of the generic empty H4 conversion lamp that I was going with originally here. So, as you can see, the main difference is the little shield on the inside, but it doesn't stand out too much like it is on some of the other ones. So when you compare these two together, you can really tell the difference in build quality. This headlamp is much heavier. It's got much better weight, more solid construction than this one. So you can see the differences here. Really, they, they accomplish the same thing. These are, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on headlamps, this is really the way to go right here. Um, there's really nothing wrong with them, but the other thing I noticed is they're not even DOT approved. Um, there's no DOT stamp or anything on these. These are also not DOT, but they are E rated uh, for European use. Hella H4 conversion lamps. And you can see the, it has an SAE stamp on it, but it does not have a DOT stamp. It has the E rating stamp like right here. So you can see that. It's got an SAE stamp on there as well. So these are legit headlamps versus the China made stuff that I had bought previously. So here's the bowl with the adapter installed. I went ahead and just did this uh, just to see how it would work and in case you're interested in, in getting one of these, just to do the conversion to the H4. Uh, on the high beam side, you'll know that the you're gonna need a different adapter. This is a straight fit in here. You don't have to change anything. This goes right in 
I tested it with the high beams. It seems to work perfectly fine. Uh, so no issues there. Okay, so here's the Hella headlamp installed with the adapter. So you can see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and test it out. And this is with the H4 standard bulb that it comes with, not the LED. Okay, so here's the Hella headlamp with the standard H4 bulb installed. Looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than the uh, standard seal beams. So if you're looking at going with H4 conversion headlamps and you still want to maintain the stock color temperature, these are definitely the way to go. Okay, so here is the Hella headlamp with an LED bulb in place of the incandescent bulb. So these are the 8000K LEDs that I was running before. Looks pretty good. You see that shield in there. And when you bring it out, you don't see the shield anymore, so no dark spot. Looks pretty good. I'll have to test the cutoff. Looks pretty straight. So this is gonna be great. It was pretty flooded with the, the cheap stuff that I was using before. So I'm hoping that this is gonna make a big difference. And here we are with both of the Hella headlamps on. And you can see what that looks like compared to the other ones that I'm using. So those are the replacements. These are the ones I'm replacing, and these are the replacements, so, yeah, look good. So here are the hellos with some LED headlights, both. Not as blinding. These are the other ones. So I have done some research and there is a high beam version of this lamp that you can get from Hella. It's for an H1 conversion. It looks a little bit different than this. I don't know that it has the grave shield on the inside. I don't think it does like this one does because this one is uh, also a low beam lamp, but they do have a slightly different looking conversion headlamp for the H1. If you want to get those instead, you can go on their website and at the end of the video, I will show you exactly what to do when it comes to uh, looking up which one you need to purchase. Okay, to look up what model numbers you're gonna to need to order, you need to go to myhellalights.com and then go to auxiliary headlights, scroll down to sealed beam conversion headlamps. Click on that. Go to four by six rectangular. Don't let me. Four by six rectangular conversion. So here is the four by six. So you would just scroll down and in this table here, it gives you two options for each one. You can get a pair of them or you can get a single one. So the single one, 3177801 for the low beam, high beam. So the kit, which comes with two headlights is 801, a single, low beam high beam is going to be 862 and for just the high beam h1s you can get a pair that's 821 right there or a single one 871 anyway guys that's the video hope this helps if you're interested in going hella for your delorean thanks for watching